Hello friends, welcome again. Let us take one more case of finding initial solution of a transportation problem by the Vogel's approximation method or VAM WAM. In Vogel's approximation method or WAM, first we have to select a row or column on the basis of the penalty or rather with the highest penalty and from the selected row or column we have to select the cell with the lowest cost and have to make allocation to that particular cell. But first of all the question is what is penalty of any row or column. Penalty is the difference between the lowest cost of the row or column and the immediate higher cost. So the lowest cost is subtracted from the immediate higher cost and the result is known as penalty. First we have to write penalty in each column and each row. Let us start with the rows. It is our first trial. In first row S1 the lowest cost is 10 and immediate higher is 19. So first penalty is 19 minus 10 or 9. In the second row the lowest cost is 30, immediate higher is 40. So 40 minus 30 the penalty comes to 10. In the third row S3 the lowest cost is 8, immediate higher is 20, so 20 minus 8, the penalty comes to 12. Now first column D1, the lowest cost is 19, the immediate higher cost is 40, 40 minus 19, penalty comes to 21. The second column D2, the least cost is 8, the immediate higher cost is 30. There is no tie because the least cost is 8 and at this level there is nothing like tie. 30 minus 8 the penalty comes to 22. In the third column D3 the least cost is 40 and immediate higher cost is 50. 50 minus 40 the penalty is 10. And in the last column D4 the least cost is 10, immediate higher cost is 20. 20 minus 10 penalty comes to 10. Now first of all Compare all the penalties of rows and columns and select the highest one and that is 22. That means we have selected the column with the highest penalty 22 that is D2. In other words we have selected D2. Now in D2 we have to select the cell with the lowest cost that is cell S3 D2 with low, least cost of 8. In this cell we can allocate Demand 8 or supply 18, whichever is lower, so 8 units. Demand of D2 is satisfied. Supply of S3 is 18, we have made allocation of 8, so remaining supply is 10. Again, we have to cancel the column of D2. And since we have cancelled the column, no allocation will be there. We will not consider D2 for calculation of penalties in next all future steps. Now, second trial for the remaining table. The same exercise for the remaining cells of the first row S1. The least cost is 10, immediate higher is 19, so the penalty remains 19 minus 10, 9. In the row S2, the least cost is now 40, immediate higher is 60, 60 minus 40, penalty is 20. In the row S3, now the least cost is 20, immediate higher cost is 40, 40 minus 20, penalty comes to 20. Now it is turn off row column of D1 or first column. The least cost is 19, immediate higher is 40, 40 minus 19, penalty comes to 21. D2 has been cancelled as there is no unsatisfied demand. D3, the least cost is 40, immediate higher is 50, so penalty comes to 50 minus 40, 10. And in the column of D4, the least cost is 10, immediate higher is 20, 20 minus 10, so penalty comes to 10. Again, comparison of penalties and selection of the highest one. 9, 20, 20, 21, 10, 10. So the highest penalty in the second round is 21. 
on the basis of that we are going to select the column of D1 and in this column the least cell with the least cost is this one cost 19 cell address is S1 D1 or cell 11 and allocation possible is demand 5 supply 7 whichever is lower 5 so the whole demand of column D1 or destination D1 is satisfied but out of supply of 7 available from source S1 we have allocated 5 so still there is a supply of 2 available but we have to cancel column D1 and now in next steps we will not consider column D1 the same exercise is to be repeated third trial in the first row for the remaining table now the least cost is 10 immediate IR is 50 so penalty comes to 40 in the second row least cost is 40 immediate IR is 60 penalty is 20 in the third row least cost is 20 immediate IR is 70 so penalty of 50 now in the two open columns D3 the least cost is still 40 immediate IR 50 50 minus 40 penalty is 10 the last column least cost is 10 immediate IR is 20 so penalty again comes to 10 let us select the highest penalty that is 50 so we have selected the row S3 in this row the open cell or empty cell with the list cost is cell with the cost of 20 or S3 D4 cell 3 4 let us make allocation demand 14 supply 10 whichever is lower so we should allocate all 10 unit to this cell supply of S3 is exhausted demand of D4 was 14 against it allocation of 10 has been made so still the unsatisfied demand of 4 is there now in this case or rather after this step we have to cancel the row of S3 as the supply has been exhausted now for the remaining part again the same exercise calculation of penalty this is our fourth trial hopefully this might be the last one first row least cost 10 immediate IR 50 so penalty comes to 50 minus 10 equals to 40 next least cost 40 immediate higher cost 60 penalty 60 minus 40 20 column of d3 least cost 40 immediate higher 50 penalty is 10 b4 least cost 10 immediate higher 60 so penalty is 60 minus 10 equals to 50 and that is the highest penalty among the four calculated so we select the highest penalty 50 that means ultimately we have selected column D4 in this column this cell is with the least cost and allocation possible is demand 4 or supply 2 whichever is lower so it comes to 2 whichever is lower ok now we have to cancel the row of S1 and with this step now there is no need of calculation of penalty because we have only one open row S2 and two open columns D3 and D4 see we had selected D4 but we have not cancelled D4 because demand of D4 is still unsatisfied by two units so this is not this should not be the conclusion that whichever is column or row is selected is ultimately cancelled no that is not the case only if demand is satisfied or supply exhaust then only we have to cancel the particular column or row now our ultimate goal is cost minimization so out of these two cells let us select first the cell with the least cost that is cell with 40 and another cell is with 60 here in this case or is in this cell with the least cost the possible allocation is demand 7 or supply 9 whichever is lower 
so it comes to 7. With this allocation, the demand of D3 is fully satisfied. Let us cancel D3. And so now there is only one empty cell and allocation of 2 can be made because demand unsatisfied is 2, supply available is 2. In this way, all 34 units supply available is allocated to satisfy the demand of all four destinations D1, D2, D3 and D4. So with the help of calculation of penalty, we can make allocation that is the soul of Vogel's approximation method or VAM. Now let us calculate the total cost units multiplied by cost or rate per unit that is in rupees the product will give us total cost units 5 rate 19 so total cost 95 units 2 rate 10 total cost 20 units 7 rate per unit 40 total cost 280 units 2 Rate 60, total cost 120. Units 8 and rate also 8, so total cost 64. Units 10, rate 20, total cost 200. Units 34 and total cost comes to 779. So we can conclude that if we use Vogel's approximation method or VAM to get the initial solution of the given transportation problem, 34 units can be transported at the least possible cost of 779. But we don't mean that this is the optimal solution. We have to check whether this solution is optimal or not. But this is feasible solution or uh, say non-degenerate solution because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, m plus n minus 1 equals to also 6, that rule is satisfied. So this was one second time, thank you.